Yes, Khadija, I'm audible to you. Yes, please. All right. Uh, yes, Khadija. So first application we had completed. First application of thermal expansion, this we had already complete, uh, completed. That was the time period one. So change in time period, that was all over. Question also we had seen. Yeah. Now see, the second application is the reading scale. See, if I give you this, if I give you this pen and I ask you to calculate it, calculate the length of it, what will you do? You will take a scale, you will calculate its length, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, suppose the length is six, uh, six centimeters or let's say it's four centimeters as I've taken the example already. So suppose the length, this is four centimeters. All right. Now the four centimeters, I'll have the scale with me. So with the scale, I'll calculate it. I'll put the scale like this. I'll calculate. I'll see this is coming four centimeters itself. All right. See, due to heating effect on the scale, suppose the scale was metallic scale due to heating effect on the scale, scale expanded. So initially, if my one centimeter was this, now after scale's expansion, it would increase or decrease, Khadija? It would increase. It would increase. Listen, see, if this is one centimeter, I have expanded it, thermal expansion. So it will increase. Actual one centimeter is this. But now because of expansion, one centimeter is becoming this because the entire scale has elongated. Do you get this point? Yes. Okay. So which the actual reading was four centimeters. But now because the scale has elongated, this length, which was supposed to be 4 centimeters, now will be around 2 centimeters, 1.2 centimeters as I have taken in the example. Because the readings have changed. So this is also one example that comes in the question papers. That on increasing temperature, scale reading decreases. On decreasing the temperature, scale reading increases. Opposite also happens. If it contracts, then the reading will increase. If, it, if you are increasing the temperature, scale reading will decrease and this will occur. So true reading is equal to scale reading 1 plus alpha delta t. This is the formula which you can use. If you want to find out which is the actual reading, this is like that formula only. L is equal to L naught. Length, true reading, true reading, original length. Scale reading means the new length. 1 plus alpha delta t. Like this only, similar to what we have done. Like I'll give you an example. I'll not discuss this question in detail but that you can calculate it later. A steel tape one meter long is correctly calibrated for a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. Length of steel rod measured by tape is 63 centimeters. On a hot day when temperature is 45 degrees Celsius. What is the actual length of the rod? See, true reading is equal to scale reading 1 plus alpha delta T. What is the actual reading of the scale? That we have to calculate what is the actual length of the steel rod on that day. It means you have to find out what is the true reading. Then it says scale reading. How much it, it is measuring. So length of steel rod measured by tape is 63 centimeters. This is 63 centimeters. One, you know, alpha. Alpha is also given 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 5. That you will be able to calculate. T, delta T means temperature difference, final minus initial. What is the final temperature? 45 degrees Celsius. What was the initial temperature? 27 degrees Celsius. So T is equal to 45 minus 27, which is equal to 18. Uh, when you will calculate this, true reading will approximately come out to be 63.13 uh, centimeters. This is just that I have, re I remember this answer. I have not calculated it right now. This you can calculate and confirm. Uh, before going on to the third one, I think you should write it. This question is easy. You know, you'll be able to put in all the values. This question was easy. It's just that you have to write every data that you have. So basically what have we seen in this application? If the temperature increases, the scale will expand. So the reading will decrease because what was initially uh, the collection of the small small digits are actually far apart from each other and if you decrease the temperature it will contract so which was showing, showing four centimeters now will show show uh, six centimeters will be showing six centimeters so it will increase this is the basic concept a very short and easy one you can write it down 
one one or two applications are left two applications are left that i also discussed you write it down
yes class now see the third application so two applications we have seen mm -hmm. one on that date time one now uh, temp, uh, this length one now third is cavity suppose there is a square which has a small cavity in it and when you are providing heat on it the cavity is increasing so cavity increases and simultaneously the object also increases if you have kept basically this part increases like this so entire cavity expands now what will you use in here when you are having the formula basically remember in this whichever quantity has the highest coefficient of uh, um, this uh, coefficients value coefficient this of thermal expansion alpha's value which is uh, which is having more the expansion of length will be more do you know this reason reason is that l is equal to l l naught one plus alpha delta t is the formula now if alpha and length c both are directly proportional to each other so if alpha increases length will also increase this is also one application one more we have for bimetallic strap that also let me tell you See, if you have uh, two metallic strips with you, A and B, you have put them together like this. This is A having a linear uh, that uh, coefficient of thermal expansion alpha. This is B, blue one, which is having coefficient of thermal expansion as alpha 2. You have stick them like this. Both are stuck now. Now see, if both of these are stick together, they are connected. See, this is, this is showing that they are connected to each other. Now, the condition here is that, see, you can look here. It's written alpha 1 is greater than alpha 2. So, which has the greater value of coefficient of thermal expansion? It will expand more. So, as a result, what happens? The bimetallic strip of A, because this is having more value of alpha. Alpha is more. So, its length increases more, whereas B curves less. So, this type of case you get once you have heated it so on increasing temperature stri uh, strip a increases length of strip a will increase fine length of strip a increases if suppose coefficient of b was greater so it would have expanded like this with b here a here whichever has the greater value of alpha that length will increase this property only only you should remember for the questions um Effect of density is left. Let me write down density also. This will complete all the applications of thermal expansion. So that topic will be completed. Thermal expansion itself will be complete. Let's complete this topic today so that we can sp start with specific capacity and all. That is more important. And that is a little difficult also to handle. Now see, at temperature T1, let's say density is equal to mass by volume. Rho1 is equal to M by V1. At temperature T2, rho 2 is equal to m by v2 fine uh, what is v2 v2 is v1 1 plus gamma delta t if you remember v is equal to v1 1 plus gamma delta t we have derived this if you remember three types of thermal expansions were there linear expansion superficial expansion and cubicle that is the volumic expansion do you remember this khadija and khudaja yes Remember? So, volume 1 I am using right now. This one. So, from here what I am doing, I am putting the value of V2 as this. V1. 1 plus gamma delta T. What is M by V1? M by V1 is this only. Rho 1. So, I will get the formula, final formula. Rho 2 is equal to Rho 1. Put the value rho 1, you have m by v1. So, this becomes 1 plus gamma delta t. This is the formula. See, if density decreases, the temperature increases. If density decreases, temperature increases. This is the concept which you have to remember because you can see both are inversely proportional. So, this is a little important from all of the expansions which we have done right now. Note these down, then we'll see thermal expansion in liquids, a very small topic and a very easy topic to deal with. Write this down.
okay thermal expansion of liquids so basically real expansion this means the expansion of liquid in a container which it which itself does not expand see suppose i a uh, best example is boiling of milk you keep you put the milk in the container in the vessel and ultimately what happens the liquid rises that is the milk rises above your container does not expand correct so this type of expansion is called real expansion where only the liquid part is expanding not the container but if the container is also in expanding like this if this was the initial condition now the container has expanded we call this as apparent expansion and always remember real expansion is greater than apparent expansion just remember it like this container is not expanding only the fluid is, fluid is expanding it's the real expansion if the container is also expanding it's apparent expansion and if you want to know how much container has expanded, just subtract what was the real one, what is now after the final one. That will be the apparent expansion. And see, if the real expansion is greater than the container, then we say liquids level will increase. How will you determine no, whether the liquids level will increase? See, when we boil milk, the liquid level rises. When we boil water, the liquid level falls. Right, so how will we determine this? So just remember this, when the real volume will, is greater than the container's volume, liquids level will increase. And if container's volume is greater than the real one, the level of liquid will decrease. And if both of them are equal, then the level of liquid will not. So what is the coefficient of real expansion? We write this also as gamma, delta V by V into delta T. Fine, and coefficient of apparent expansion is Delta V multiplied to delta T. Same thing. V is equal to V1 plus gamma delta T, which we write. From here, we write the value of gamma like this. Similar to this. Just similar. Keep this in mind. This you already know. It is helpful for you to learn. And just one thing. One more thing so that you can copy it down. Just one last thing from this. Anomalous expansion of water. Now, okay, leave this. Leave this right now. Write down this thermal
if you have completed till here you can leave this completes the entire thermal expansion and heat topic now straight away we will start with specific capacity and cpcv this will complete in the next class all right you can leave now thank you so much